Good afternoon. When I was in seminary training to become a pastor, I had to write a paper for an introduction to theology class on the authority of Scripture. What is it about the Bible that makes it an authority? And in what ways is it an authority? I think I did a pretty good job on that paper. I got an A on it. The professor said it was very well written. But recently I realized I answered the wrong question. The real question is not, what is it about the Bible that makes it an authority? The real question is, what is it about how we use Scripture that makes it an authority? Most people, when they talk about the Bible as an authority, do it the way I did in seminary. We'll talk about how it is inspired by God, and by the way, there's many various ways in which we can understand God's inspiration of Scripture. We may even quote 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All Scripture is God-breathed. The word inspire literally means to be breathed, by the way. And some people might do what I did in my seminary paper and talk about what the Bible is an authority for. For example, the Bible is an authority to help us understand God, our relationship with God, and matters of faith. In my opinion, at least, the Bible is not an authority for topics like history or biology or geography. Now that's all good and fine, at least my seminary professor thought so, but none of this hits the mark when we speak about the Bible's authority. If you leave the Bible on the shelf, or even if you display it in a prominent place in your home, it is utterly worthless and meaningless if that's all you do. For example, as you can tell, I have a whole shelf full of books behind me. One of them is the MLA Style Manual. This is the authoritative guide for scholarly writing and publishing. If you're going to write an article for a journal or a dissertation, this book will tell you how to capitalize, how to write dates, how to use pump, pump how to use punctuation, easy for me to say, what size should your margins be, and so on. This, by, this book is great. But to be honest, I don't know if I've ever actually opened it and used it when I was writing something. Whether this book is authoritative or not, it is meaningless if I don't actually use it. So I cannot claim that the MLA style manual has any authority in my life or in my writing. The same thing is true for the Bible. The authority of Scripture is completely dependent upon whether we actually use it or not. And this is exactly the point that 2 Timothy makes. See, we need to read the rest of verse 16 and then go on to verse 17. All Scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. God's breath that we find in Scripture is only meaningful and powerful when we actually use it. As 2 Timothy says, it is to be used to teach, rebuke, correct, and train. How about for you? How else can the Bible be useful in your life? I encourage you to use the comments, whether you're joining this by Facebook or YouTube. Write down for us so we can share with each other. How is the Bible useful for you? If I had to write that seminary paper today, I would probably take a different approach. I might not get as good of a grade from the professor, but perhaps my new paper would be better connected to real life. The Bible's authority comes from how it is used. If it is not used, like my MLA style manual, then it has no authority at all. And unfortunately, this seems to be how many people use or don't use the Bible. They may claim or even insist on how important and significant the Bible is. But the real question is, I don't care how important you think the Bible is, do you actually read it? Do you use it? 
Do you allow the Bible to teach you, to rebuke you, to correct you, to train you? You notice something about those words from 2 Timothy? None of them mean read the Bible so it will confirm what you already think. Read the Bible so it will make you feel comfortable and happy. No, read the Bible so you can be taught, you can be rebuked, you can be corrected, you can be trained. Use the Bible so that God can change you, perhaps in ways that you don't want to be changed. Take the time to discern what the Bible is actually saying, not what you want it to say. Because as 2 Timothy tells us, this is how we are thoroughly equipped for every good work. Let me go one step further. The Bible has authority not only in how it is used, but the Bible has authority in how it is shared. To say that it is an authority, but you just keep it to yourself and don't let anyone else know about it, well, what kind of an authority is that? It's like the laws of the land having authority, but no one ever talks about them. No one ever tells you what the speed limit is, for example. Offer the Bible to other people so they also may have their lives changed when they encounter God's breath, which we find in Scripture. Would you pray with me, please? Lord God, we are grateful for the love that you show to us in many ways, including the way in which you show us your love by having given us the Bible. Help us, Lord, not simply to claim that the Bible has authority, but to actually use the Bible that its authority may be at work in our lives. Forgive us for the times when we treat the Bible like the MLA style manual. Just put it on a shelf and talk about how meaningful it is without ever actually encountering you through its words. Show us how we can share the authority that we find in Scripture with others so that they, like us, can be trained and taught and encouraged and rebuked and corrected so that we truly may be thoroughly equipped for the work that you provide for each of us. Amen. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk again later.